Brick and mortar business is a rarity these days. So we're talking to Nicole about how she developed a successful co-working community where entrepreneurs form authentic relationships around the water cooler. Oh my gosh, I love being here. Thank you for having Women of Denver here. Yeah, <laughs> you created a really amazing community. And my first question for you is what everybody's probably wondering, which is how did you get this started? It's a big deal. It's a lot of help. Yeah. It definitely, it takes a village. So um, with this journey, it started off with me wanting like, well, I need an office for my business, but I didn't want to be in this building by myself. Mm -hmm. I, I don't need all this. I had one employee at the time. Yeah. And I knew from living in North Denver that North Denver needed something. There wasn't any kind of office solution for entrepreneurs in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So I put out an interest survey and I sent it out to moms groups, neighborhood organizations, business organizations. Uh -huh. and within a week, we had 60 responses Wow! that said that, yes, we want to sign up and do this. So we started a crowdfunding campaign and went from there. Nice. So you clearly had a successful crowdfunding campaign, which a lot of people <laughs> struggle to do. And I bet it's because of all the buy-in that you had in the beginning and not kind of just starting from your own idea, but starting from something that you, you created with the feedback from the community. Right. Yeah, and it definitely helped having my first business because that background in marketing and doing all the leads groups mm -hmm. and going to networking events, like building those relationships really helped get to this level. Yeah. Um, without all the people in the neighborhood, it wouldn't happen. Uh, we had a local brewery that did our crowdfunding kickoff party. Nice. They donated a percentage of their beer sales to us. Um, we had a local artist design some t-shirts. Uh -huh. So okay. um, the t-shirts themselves are landmarks in the neighborhood where we are. Oh, um, I didn't know so that. So we are in the Sunnyside neighborhood. And the name Sunnyside Station was actually voted on in our interest survey. Oh, so the neighborhood wow. named us. So... Um, sponsors. Um, so yeah, we had a lot of involvement. We had a kitchen mm -hmm. um, designer. She built the kitchen. That was part of her in-kind sponsorship. Oh, so wow. without all these pieces, like it wouldn't have happened. We would, I don't know where we, we would be. So um, with that, we had people that paid three months of membership in advance. Oh, that's So amazing. that's how we were able to do our build out. Mm -hmm. um, we did a lot of just sweat work and sweat equity yeah uh, like, like this, this wall, wall behind <laughs> us this is a pinterest win um my colleague julian and i we very carefully did that over the course of a couple weeks um so yeah just little things and just getting advice from business advisors having a good real estate agent uh -huh. um having all these people provide their wisdom to make it happen so on the first yeah. day we had people here. We weren't just sitting here by ourselves building websites. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. So how do you keep the community going now that it's open? How do you keep people engaged and wanting con to continue spending time here? Right. Yeah. A lot of people come to us either from a home office or they're been working in a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. And their main complaints are that they're tired talking to their cat, <laughs> their dishes, you know, that becomes priority. They can't get any work done or mm -hmm. there's kids. Um, so they they know when they come here, it's not a library. It's not completely quiet. Yeah. Um, to expect people to ask you like, Hey, you're a new face here. Um, what do you do? Like conversations, like when you're in a coffee shop, you might be surrounded by people, but you're mm -hmm. all alone. Yeah. Right. You don't, unless you go to that coffee shop every day and you're the kind of person that's like, you know, maybe I'll go talk to that person that looks really <laughs> unfriendly, <laughs> but I'm really lonely. Like people here know, like you should expect someone's going to talk to you yeah um, so it's it's interesting we actually had a member that did a crowdfunding campaign here for his business uh -huh. and the whole group like rallied behind him so it was it's pretty interesting like That's it's amazing. it's always something like we have a monthly networking event that we do and uh -huh. it's very casual like we don't have a speaker it's kind of like come have lunch hang out eat. if you make some business connections great if not you've made a friend and I mean I've seen a lot of people it's like oh this is a really great lunch I just met with so-and-so mm -hmm. it's not forced yeah. So it's not like, okay, you have to do this. Like, there's right. something for everybody. And if you can't make the event, they're going to come to work and someone's going to talk to you while you're making your coffee. <laughs> and you're going to know, like, hey, how's it going? Oh, you know, everyone knows everyone here. Yeah. Um, we have, I think, about 40 people, and they all know each other. They're on first-name basis, whether wow. they're here once a week or full-time. Yeah, I so, came here one time on a weekend, and 
I was just trying to work and somebody started chatting with me and I just said, okay, well, I guess this is the time to meet someone new. <laughs> and we had a great conversation. Right. <laughs> People get work done. They're more productive because yeah. they get that out of the way. Whereas uh -huh. if you're home, you're going to be like, what's on Facebook? You know, yeah. oh, I should check my phone. Right. Right. But here it's like you get inter human interaction. Yes. Get out of and the way. get business done. And get inspired. You make connections. Like uh -huh. someone's like, oh, I need to talk to the bookkeeper who's here. Oh, well, she, she sits right next to me. Everyone knows oh, her. Oh, nice. You know, or, oh, there's a dog walker. I can talk to her, you know. So there's all kinds of backgrounds. When people ask, well, who do you have as members? It's anybody. Because, it, I mean, it's, it's a neighborhood. So Beautiful. we're a neighborhood space. I love it. Well, I love being here. I love the story of how you started. And I'm so glad that you came to share it with us today. Thank you. Thanks, Nicole.